In this video, we're going to take a look at the align command in a little bit more detail. Okay, so on the Roomba, on the modify tab, we have a group called modify. And in the top left hand corner of that group, we have the align command. Selecting the align command in Revit, what we need to first do is select what we're aligning to. And in this example, I'm going to use the center line, the horizontal center line of this table down here in the left hand corner of this room. With that selected, I get a blue dashed tree view, which you can just faintly see there to show what I'm aligning to. I can then go to another table, again, select the center line of that table, left click, and it will move that into alignment. And at this point, I can choose whether to lock those two into alignment. With those two locked into alignment, should I move one of these, you'll see that the other one will also move as well. And I'll just undo that. Okay, and we'll undo uh, the constraint there as well. So jumping back into the align command, we can automate things a little bit more. So I want to align all these table tables with the ones on the bottom here. So looking on the modify tab, we have a number of settings. We have a lock button, which will automatically lock the tables. And we can also do multiple alignments in one command. So it's going to remember what you're aligning to, and then you can just click all the elements that you want to move. So again, I'm going to select the center line of one of these two tables as what I'm aligning to. And I can now click on table number three, and it's going to lock it, four, five, and six, and align and lock all those tables in one go. Thank you for watching.